Hello there guys, welcome back to another not overly dramatized maths video. Uh, in this video, we're doing Laplace transforms once again. We've got the first shifting theorem. This is quite a cool theorem in my opinion. It's pretty cool. It's very simple. All it says is that the Laplace transform of e to the a t times your little f of t function is just the Laplace transform of f of t on its own, but shifted, that's why it's called the first shifting theorem, by the factor a, which is the exponential component there of uh, e to the a t, it's the, uh, the constant. So basically, if you multiply your function by e to the at and then take the Laplace transform there, all it will do is it will shift the Laplace transformed function f of t a units to the right along the kind of axis, I guess. It's very simple, it's very nice. What it means though is that you can very easily take Laplace transforms of this form because you can ignore this term, work out this Laplace transform and then just move it by A and then you're done. We'll do an example at the end of the video but I want to prove it to you guys first. And it's actually really easy to prove. You'll see, you'll see how easy it is. So we're going to get rid of that for a second and we're going to go straight into the proof. So once again, I'm just going to write it down. The first shifting theorem says that the Laplace transform of e to the a t times f of t is capital F of just s minus a. That's what it says. Let's prove it now. Let's do it. It's very easy. So all we're going to do, guys, is take the Laplace transform of this. So the Laplace transform of e to the a t times lowercase f of t. Just guys, we're going to use the definition of the Laplace transform. This is the integral from zero to infinity of, and we're just going to let f of t be kind of e to the a t times f of t. So it's going to be e to the a t times f of t. And then as you always do with your Laplace transform, this is also times by e to the minus s t. And we're integrating dt. So this is just the natural thing, it's just the, using the Laplace transform definition. But guys, as you can probably piece it together really, let's go over here. This is equal to the integral from zero to infinity of f of t. And then guys, we can combine e to the at and e to the minus st and write that as e to the a minus s in brackets t dt, like that. But guys, we don't want to combine it precisely like that. We actually want to factor a minus sign out of these brackets. I'm going to put a minus here, like that, and then I'm going to swap these around. So that's not going to be a minus s any longer. It's going to be s minus a, uh, because we've factored the minus out. Now, guys, I don't know about you, that looks pretty familiar to me. This looks a lot like f of s minus a, right? Because f of s, there's an s here, f of s minus a, there's an s minus a there. And it's really that simple, that is it. So we've just shown the Laplace transform of e to the a t, lowercase f of t, becomes capital F of s minus a. Okay, now let's go back to this board and do an example, as promised. Let's work out the Laplace transform of e to the 4t sine t. Okay, so clearly, a is the number 4 and f of t is sine t. So again, by the first shifting theorem, this is what we've got right now. All we need to do to work this out is we need to work out the Laplace transform of sine and then just translate it a units to the right and I'll show you exactly how to do that. So we already know, maybe I'll do this actually in purple, hopefully this comes out right, I'm not really used to using different colors with the chalk yet, but let's just try it. So the Laplace transform of sine t, this is a known thing, it's just one over s squared plus one. That's what it is. So I've already got a video on that, link in description guys, as always. So if we wanna, I'm just gonna go back to white because it looks kind of silly. <laughs> uh, if we want to do the Laplace transform of e to the 4t times sine t, all we're gonna do is replace the s's with s minus fours. So this Laplace transform of e to the 4t sine t, like so. This is one over s minus four in brackets squared plus one. And it's, it's really that simple. That is the answer. So the Laplace transform of e to the 4t sine t is one over s minus four squared plus one. You could obviously expand that out if you want, but there's no point in us doing that. It's too easy for us, guys. It's too easy for us. 
Hope that was helpful as always, guys. That's the first shifting theorem. Look out for the sequel, second shifting theorem in a little while. The next video, though, we're gonna go and look at some inverse Laplace transforms. So second shifting theorem, it is real, it does exist, but you've gotta wait a little bit longer for it. Don't worry, this one's more interesting. So see you in the next video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. As always, highly appreciate it. See you in the next one.